The $5 bill is undoubtedly regarded as the handsomest bill in the world. And, of course, what Jefferson lacks in style, he makes up for in rarity. But everyone has seen this picture. Our first president now graces the most common bill in circulation today. Now here's a face you probably don't recognize. This is Hank, and he always wondered where his money went. But thanks to the internet, there's a tool that can help him. The website wheresgeorge.com lets anyone register a banknote by its serial number and stamp it. Then, when the bill passes to Dennis, Dennis will see that it's being tracked. If he also chooses to log the bill's progress, it will create a link between these two people. An important feature of this link is that both people have a geographic location, which they also record on wheresgeorge.com. If Hank lives in Los Angeles and Dennis lives in New York, a link between these two people is also a link between these two cities. Of course, Hank isn't the only person spending money. Many tracked bills pass through Los Angeles and go on to form connections with other places in the country. And the same is true for New York City. Even Anderson County in Tennessee manages to send a few bills away from home. It turns out that every single county in the continental United States has connections to other places through the Where's George website. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Now, dollar bills don't really have wings. When a bill gets passed from Hank to Dennis, it usually means that Hank actually physically traveled to meet Dennis. Because of this, we can think of the banknote flux as indicating the level of human travel between two places. The Where's George data is actually revealing the pattern of human mobility throughout the United States. Unlike other mobility networks, such as the air transportation grid, the Where's George data is truly multi-scale. There are links that span thousands of miles, hundreds of miles, and just a few miles, all present in the same data. One of the things we can do with this data is identify effective communities in the United States. Here, we use a slightly modified version of Lumera and Amaral's simulated annealing algorithm for maximizing Newman's modularity measure. This means that our program is trying to collect counties into groups, which are indicated by different colors, so that the traffic within each group is very high compared to the traffic between the groups. This is a complicated problem, and it's not possible in general to find the best partition. This random algorithm tries to find a good approximation to the best partition, but because it is random, it generates different results each time it runs. Even though there are many differences in the outcome of the algorithm, it consistently finds geographically compact communities, in spite of the fact that the program does not receive any information about the location of counties. The groups are mobility neighborhoods, and they're determined entirely by the flux of money between counties. Although the colors in these pictures represent different groups, the colors themselves are meaningless, and it will be easier to combine this multitude of outcomes if we just look at the boundaries between groups. We like to look at many different outcomes at the same time to see what the common features are and how they differ. And one way to do this is to overlay all of the different outcomes into one single map. In this picture, the more red a boundary is, the more often that boundary appears in an outcome. Some community divisions fall along purely political boundaries and seem to have no other reason for existing. Other divisions occur along political boundaries that themselves reflect geography, as with the Mississippi River. And this division, through West Virginia and Pennsylvania, seems to be caused entirely by a geographical feature, the Appalachian Mountains. Although it's easy to guess at reasons for these divisions, discovering the exact causes will require adding more pieces to this complicated and colorful puzzle. This land is your land, and this land is my land, from the California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made 